Dive into an adventure where every chirp teaches a new word. Immerse yourself in a story where sparrows speak in words with magic, perfect for enhancing your English in the most entertaining way. In the leafy suburb of Willow Creek, there was a park, a sanctuary, where children played and elders strolled. It was also home to a boisterous flock of sparrows that chattered incessantly. But only Mia, a curious ten-year-old with braids, understood their banter. One crisp morning, as Mia meandered through the park, she overheard a concerning conversation among the sparrows. They're going to level the park next week, chirped the eldest sparrow, his voice tremulous. Mia's heart plummeted. She couldn't let this happen. Determined, Mia approached her mother. Mom, the sparrow said, the park is going to be destroyed. Her mother, while skeptical, saw the earnestness in Mia's eyes. All right, we need tangible evidence to garner support, her mother said, understanding the gravity of the situation. The next day, armed with a notepad and a camera, Mia and her mother set out to uncover the truth. They talked to the city planners, attended town hall meetings, and sifted through public records. Their diligence paid off when they found a clandestine plan for a shopping mall on the park site. Mia was adamant. We need to rally the community. She organized a meeting at the local community center where she shared her findings. This park is not just land, it's our oasis, she implored. Her passion was contagious. The townspeople decided to band together and fight the proposal. They started a petition, spread the word through word of mouth, and even organized a protest. We can't let this slip through the cracks, Mia exhorted, her words resonating with every adult and child present. As the day of the council vote approached, the community was on tenderhooks. Mia was allowed to speak at the council meeting, her voice steady and persuasive. This park teaches us about nature, community, and now, even courage. We must not turn a blind eye to its importance. The council was moved by the community's unity and Mia's eloquent speech. In a unanimous decision, they voted against the shopping mall. The park was saved, and Mia became a local hero. Her ability to speak to sparrows remained her little secret, but her courage was known to all. That evening, as the sunset painted the sky in vivid hues, Mia whispered to her feathered friends, We did it! The sparrows twittered joyously, their song a melody of triumph and gratitude. The park remained a testament to a little girl's resolve and the power of a community that refused to back down. And whenever someone doubted the impact a single voice could make, they only had to remember the secret of the speaking sparrows. Congratulations on completing the secret of the speaking sparrows. Your dedication to learning English is truly commendable. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to ensure they stick. A quick refresher to boost your English prowess. Number 1. Park, a designated public area where people relax, play, and enjoy nature. Number 2. Boisterous, noisy, energetic, and cheerful. Number 3. Chattered, talked rapidly or incessantly. Number 4. Curious, eager to know or learn something. Number 5. Banter. Playful and friendly exchange of teasing remarks. Number six, concerning, worrying or disturbing. Number seven, tremulous, shaking or quivering slightly, typically as a result of nervousness or emotion. Number eight, plummeted, fall or drop straight down at high speed. Number nine, skeptical, not easily convinced, having doubts or reservations. Number ten, earnestness, sincere and intense conviction. Number eleven, tangible, clear and definite, real. Number 12. Garner, gather or collect, something, especially information or approval. Number 13. 
Gravity, extreme or alarming importance, seriousness. Number 14, notepad, a small book of blank or lined papers for writing notes. Number 15, uncover, reveal or make known something concealed. Number 16, town hall, a building used for the administration of local government. Number 17, sifted, examine thoroughly so as to isolate that which is most important or useful. Number 18, diligence, careful and persistent work or effort. Number 19, clandestine, kept secret or done secretively, especially because illicit. Number 20, adamant, refusing to be persuaded or to change one's mind. Number 21, rally, come together again in order to continue fighting after a defeat or dispersion. Number 22, oasis, a pleasant or peaceful area or period in the midst of a difficult, troubled, or hectic place or situation. Number 23, implored, begged someone earnestly or desperately to do something. Number 24, contagious, of an emotion, feeling, or attitude, likely to spread to and affect others. Number 25, band together, unite for a common purpose or cause. Number 26, word of mouth, the passing of information from person to person. Number 27, protest, a statement or action expressing disapproval of or objection to something. Number 28, exhorted, strongly encourage or urge, someone, to do something. Number 29, resonating, produce or be filled with a deep, full, reverberating sound. Number 30, tenderhooks, being in a state of uneasy suspense or anxiety. Number 31, steady, firmly fixed, supported, or balanced, not shaking or moving. Number 32, eloquent, fluent or persuasive in speaking or writing. Number 33, unanimous, of two or more people, fully in agreement. Number 34, vivid, producing powerful feelings or strong, clear images in the mind. Number 35, twittered, of birds, give a call consisting of repeated light tremulous sounds. Number 36, melody, a sequence of single notes that is musically satisfying. Number 37, testament, something that serves as a sign or evidence of a specified fact, event, or quality. Number 38, power, the ability or capacity to do something or act in a particular way. Number 39, back down, withdraw a claim or assertion in the face of opposition. Number 40, turn a blind eye, to ignore something that you know is wrong. Number 41, overheard, heard, typically accidentally, a conversation not intended to be heard. Number 42, Gravity of the situation, the importance or seriousness of a circumstance or issue. Number 43. Set out, to begin an endeavor with a specific purpose in mind. Number 44. Paid off, yielded good results, was successful or beneficial. Number 45. Petition, a formal written request, typically one signed by many people, appealing to authority in respect of a particular cause. Number 46. Persuasive, good at convincing someone to do or believe something through reasoning or the use of temptation. Number 47, we did it, an expression of success or accomplishment, usually shared collectively. Number 48, resolve, firm determination to do something. Number 49, triumph, a great victory or achievement. Thanks for joining us on this delightful journey through The Secret of the Speaking Sparrows. Rewatch to help these vocabularies stick forever. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more lessons. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.